I love this game. So Sonic Generations is one of the greatest Sonic games out there. That's at least one thing the Sonic fanbase can agree on. One of the greatest things in the game are the bosses. While there weren't a lot of them, the ones up here are really freaking good. You know, except for the fun ones. So today I'm giving you the ones that stood out the most to me. This is my top 5 favorite Sonic Generations bosses. Enjoy! Remember that awesome final boss in Sonic 2? Well, how about we play it again, except now that it's a more powerful system, make it even better. The Death Egg Robot is an absolutely epic boss battle. For one of the two bosses for Classic Sonic, this boss gives you a lasting impression. More than Metal Sonic, of course, but, you know. It starts out normal with you just waiting for the bot to jump so you can attack its rump or just spin dash under it, but it gets even better when you get to the top of the Death Egg. And 3D 2D action, if that makes any sense. Now you have to lure the robot's arms to the bombs placed on the field, dodge it so it hits the bombs, then jump on the arm to attack. Do this enough, and you finally win. The boss is just so dang epic, especially for Classic Sonic, that I just loved it so much. And that music remix of the Death Egg robot just makes it all the better. Who knew old Pop Belly Sonic could be such a bad... Never mind. This boss. This. Epic. Boss. The Egg Dragoon is such an awesome boss that it's incredible. At first, it was just a Werehog battle in the original Unleash game, but they somehow made it into a regular Sonic stage and it's still awesome. You start by running through a large hallway that looks absolutely gorgeous by the way, and after dodge the attacks Eggman shoots at you, find a ramp to jump on the ground rails and get a hit there. Then the perspective goes into 2D where you have to time your jumps to dodge the projectiles Eggman fires at you, and then wait for Eggman to place two walls onto the ground. Now you have to time your wall jumps to jump from wall to wall while still dodging some ice comets, I guess, so you can get to the top and strike. These parts are a joy to play in 2D and especially 3D, and they all play out well. However, Eggman still has one more trick up his sleeve. He then somehow causes the hallway to turn into a skydiving part, but video game logic, you know, as you dodge his attacks and hopefully make it to him and finish him. This is probably the most epic and dramatic battle in the entire game, and it all comes together with the absolutely heavenly music. Just listen to this. Incredible. How do you make an epic battle of Super Sun against Perfect Chaos even better? You just do it Sega style. The Perfect Chaos battle in Sonic Generations is just outstanding. What you're doing is going through different iterations of a destroyed city flooded with water, dodge Perfect Chaos many attacks, and boost the hit into him to strike. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. You have to make sure you don't run out of boosts, and if you do run out in the middle of the obstacle course, you're screwed. Also, Perfect Chaos has a couple of attacks to mess with you. While this isn't much at first, Perfect Chaos decides to shake things up a bit before you can land the finishing blow. Now many platforms are floating in the air and you have to use your platforming skills to reach it. Also, Perfect Chaos can destroy some of the platforms too, so no pressure. This boss is fantastic and nothing less. So yeah, Perfect Chaos rocks! One thing I noticed is how Modern Sonic is taking this thing on without going super. Wow. For a hedgehog, you've got a ton of guts, dude. Remember that terrible silver boss fight in Sonic 06? Yeah, how the heck are they going to make that fight the least bit enjoyable? They just do. Sega has grown a lot over the years, and this boss fight is the perfect example. This fight is nothing like the original fight, and you know what? That's not bad at all. For this incarnation of the fight, Sonic and Silver are traveling at the speed of sound through Crisis City. Silver will use his psychokinesis power to throw different objects at you like cards and other various obstacles on the street. You have to homing attack him when he uses his obstacles in the air, and that's pretty straightforward. When he sends a couple of cards to you like a battering ram, 
you'll have to jump on top of them, run towards Silver, and homing attack him then. All of this is pretty straightforward, but each attack is just so satisfying and pulled off in a glorious way. However, when Silver decides that he's had just about enough homing attacks for one day, he uses all his strength to grab pretty much everything on the street to create a Katamari-like ball, the Meteor Smash. Now you have to make like Indiana Jones and run for dear life, but at the same time dodge all of Silver's psychic attacks. When you finally catch up to the little hedgehog, he can lay the finishing blow and watch one of the best finishes to a Sonic boss ever. Holy crap that had to hurt! Silver, I would try to help you out, but it's no use. This boss is such a dramatic improvement over the original fight that I had to put it this high. And the music is awesome as well, so yeah! Not to mention how incredibly fun it is. So what could possibly beat the time paradox of the Sonic series himself? How about a boss I was looking for at the battle the day this game came out? I knew about the Shadow Boss battle long before I got in the game, and I couldn't wait to put my grubby mitts on that controller and play it. And when I finally did, I was blown away. Oh my gosh, Shadow the Hedgehog has hands down the greatest boss fight in the entire game! What you're pretty much doing is racing against Shadow to collect power while sliding through the final rush zone. Whoever gets two, or three if you're playing hard enough, gets to use their special attack to try and finish the other Hedgehog off. The race against Shadow is so awesome. You both can boost and are pretty much identical, so how you defeat yourself is up to you. There are tons of alternate pathways in the track, it's laughably easy to miss a lot of them. Heck, there are still some I'm not aware of, and I've played this boss fight countless times. The atmosphere is incredible as heck too, and set in outer space on an abandoned colony. Two equals are racing to the death, and only one will win. And let's not forget that satisfying as heck finisher, pure satisfaction. Now this boss fight isn't that long, mind you. But does it really matter? It's the most fun boss fight in the game to me, and that's all that really matters to me. And the music, pure genius. So yeah, Shadow the Hedgehog is the best battle in this 20th anniversary party jam fest that is Sonic Generations, in my opinion, of course. So be sure to tell me what your favorite is in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'm Zay for Revolution, and this is the ultimate power.